Good morning and a happy National Hat Day to you and yours at home. I, over the last few years, have started to invest more in hats as I lose my hair. So I have a number of different hats that I don on this uh, National Hat Day. Um, but before you go uh, making fun of a, 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 a bald pastor, you should know or read 2 Kings chapter 2. See what happens between Elisha and uh, these boys that mock him. Mm, it's my favorite story in the Bible. So any chance I can get to mention it, uh, go read 2 Kings chapter 2. Um, but with that, I, I'm, I'm glad you're with us for this Live for Five, where we dig into the verse of the day on the Version Bible app. But first, let us make our beginning. We make our beginning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Glad you're with us. It is a blessed morning, Meredith. Glad you're with us. Hello, June. Uh, if you pull out your Bible or your YouVersion Bible app, uh, we have a verse of the day. It's beautifully the same across the entire platform. You pull up your phone wherever you are, and mine says the exact same verse. And today is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. The heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. Mm. Interesting text. It, it, it has uh, been misinterpreted a number of times over the years because we need to look at way and steps. What is this parable, proverb saying? What is it not saying? Um, it seems maybe a little fatalistic that your fate is determined for you uh, but that's not really what's being said here. This, this distinguishes between our human plans and the divine direction that God has for us. And so it, ha it has a whole process in mind and this way that we go through life. Uh, our journey, our life involves many, many decisions. It's, it's a whole process. But there is comfort. There's comfort in the belief that the Lord's direction will bring success along the way. And what I mean by success is success according to God's plan. Not that everything that you engage in will be profitable or fruitful or that no matter what you will succeed. This is the way that a lot of people interpret uh, Philippians 4.17, uh, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and it's my lucky rabbit's foot for success. That's not what Philippians 4.17 means, and that's not what this text means either. Um, it presupposes that there's this harmony. There's this harmony between our human decisions and the guidance of God toward the success of his plan, which all the more means we need to be in prayer, asking that God would bend our heart, bend our decisions to his will. Um, one example I have in, in, in my life is it wasn't really in, in my plan to be a pastor. I didn't like the idea of it for a number of reasons. That's another discussion. I was kind of scared as well. Um, but in the process, I ended up being a, a youth director for, for a number of years. In line with this text, I think the reason that God allowed my plans to succeed going through DC is it, was, it ended up being a gateway to me being a pastor. That's just one example. Um, and, and it wasn't until that happened that I found my bride and a number of other things start falling into place that I had been working towards and had all these plans. But there was this other divine trajectory and direction that the Lord had for things. And you may have examples like this as well. So proof that this is not God manipulating everything, but God has a plan, is there's a number of other Proverbs that come to mind with this similar thought. Proverbs 19.21, many are the plans in the mind of a man, 
but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. God's ultimate plan for us is going to be brought to fruition. We are the means by which he carries them out. A man In Proverbs 20, verse 24, a man's steps are from the Lord. How then can man understand his way? Outside of being connected to God's word and following his direction, our, our plans may fly in the wind. So the, these are the kind of warnings that, that we must be open to uncertainties along the way as we go about trying to meticulously plan things out. But all, this is why we say in our prayers, Lord, if it is your will, may this happen. Lord, if it is your will, please bring this to pass. The final result is, is God's doing over which humans have no real control if God wants it to succeed. And with God, it will be success. God will bring it to what his will is for plan. So when you look at this whole thing, you end up saying, well, sin has caused the world to be as ugly as it is, and therefore we have plans that are unsuccessful. But God has plans for us, and so we pray that God would help us to continue to come to him in prayer so that he can bend and transform our will to be in the likeness of his will. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we know that we mess up your plans for your kingdom daily. We ask that you would, starting right now, change our hearts, change our wills to be in alignment with your direction, that where we are moving away from your plan, that you would help us to see through your word your plans, not just for our life, but for your kingdom and our effect that we can have on this kingdom of hearts in the world. We pray all this in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. My prayer for you is that we can find time to be in scripture so that our, our hearts, our wills, our directions, the steps that we take can be more in line with God's direction and that we can therefore fulfill the plan that he has for us and for his church. Blessings to you today. I'm glad that you joined us and I look forward to continuing to go through scripture with you. Have a wonderful weekend in the Lord. I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a blessed day.